പാർട്ട് ഫോർട്ടി ത്രീ ഡീസെൻട്രലൈസേഷൻ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് മീനിങ് ഡെഫിനിഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഡീസെൻട്രലൈസേഷൻ ഇസ് എ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ സ്ട്രക്ചർ ഇൻ വിച്ച് ഡെയിലി ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഡിസിഷൻസ് മേക്കിംഗ് റെസ്പോൺസിബിലിറ്റീസ് ആർ ഡെലിഗേറ്റഡ് ബൈ ടോപ്പ് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് ടു മിഡ് ലെവൽ ആൻഡ് ലോവർ ലെവൽ മാനേജേഴ്സ് top management to focus more on major decisions decentralization is a process in which sharing of power authority and responsibility to top level to bottom level and this will make a organization into more efficient one and it will reduce the workload of top level managers they can concentrate in major activities of the organization especially planning and decision making process decentralization when we study organization structures the following points emerge some business units are such when authority is centralized at the top level only and most of the decisions are taken by top level this situation in organization is known as centralization and second point in some business organization the decision making is done by all the levels and the certain kind of decisions are taken as per the requirement of work needed it is known as decentralization in the first type of organization all the power rest on the upper level only and so it is called a centralized structure but in the second type all the powers are distributed and all the levels have specific powers and so are called decentralization of authority it means that all the powers concentrated in top level management is known as centralization and power is distributed to various levels of management is known as decentralization the concept of decentralization the thought of decentralization is very important from the view point of authority and responsibility the administrators have to themselves decide whether to have centralized or decentralized power in the organization small sized organization can have centralized powers and the large sized organization can have decentralized powers this can bring access to the organization decentralization is the process by which the activities of an organization particularly those regarding planning and decision making are distributed or delegated away from a central authoritative location or group it means that uh, the administrators want to decide centralized or decentralized then on the basis of size of the organization this going to change in small scale organization decentralization no need then organization based on its size then centralization going to change small organization there is no need to decentralization and in large organization decentralization is essential for the smooth functioning of that organization this will help to proper functioning of various works functions of the organization and they can achieve organizational goals in a easy way meaning of decentralization the delegation of power from upper to lower level in orderly manner is known as decentralization of power it means that uh, the transfer of authority from center to local or a top level to bottom level the moment of departments of a large organization away from a single administrative center to other locations definition of decentralization according to henry foyle to assign powers to the superiors to enable distribution of work and to include in decision making process is called decentralization to assign to delegating powers to the superiors to enable make them to distribution of work and include in decision making process also there are three functions assign powers make them to distribute various work and 
make part in decision making process in this way allotment of decision making authority to that is sphere of people group of people who need to take a decision is called decentralization of power it does not mean that all the powers are given by the upper level administrative to the lower level but most of the powers are given is called decentralization of power most of the time planning and decision making process that is always with the top level management and on the basis of this planning and the decision making process various department can participate they can follow the planning and going to achieve the predetermined goal of the organization it means that the transfer of control of an activity or organization to every bottom level officers or authorities rather than single one importance of decentralization the success of management depends on the proper distribution of authority and responsibility in centralization of power the hierarchy non scientifically taken decisions non cooperation lack of specialization and more workload etc can be seen hence the idea of decentralization is becoming popular in the modern times in the business unit decentralization of power is seen in majority of the cases some of the drawbacks of centralization of power and problems related to centralization that are going to solve through adoption of decentralization an organization would choose to be decentralized because of the following importance of decentralization first one quick decision fast decision in the decentralization the person who has to take the decision in that work or activity is involved completely and has the power to take the decision and hence the decisions are taken quickly and effectively it means decentralization promotes independent and quick decision making by subordinates as they are close to the operations or functions and they are in constant touch with uh, continuous touch with uh, all activities of their departments approval from the various departments being noted required decisions can be taken much faster on their own activities it will enable them to take a decision very quickly and effectively and second point less workload on top level the top level is the level with most of the policy matter related decisions are taken with the help of decentralization of power the decision making authority is given to middle or lower level hence the workload on upper level is reduced it relieves the top executives of excessive workload as the common and day to day routine and are assigned to the subordinate the saved time can be utilized by them in making strategic plans and providing direction to organization for further growth then one person doing this all work that is centralization and decentralization means that one person going to delegate share his work with the subordinate sharing of his work it will reduce his workload and it will promote him to concentrate in policy and decision making process increased motivation due to decentralization employees get motivation and their self confidence increase they are given independence on middle or lower level and when they see their decision becoming successful their confidence boost they also get the experience on how to take such a kind of decision in such a kind of a situation decentralization enables the managers at the lower level as well as the departmental heads to perform to their full potential and their capacities also develops a sense of competition among the department such a competitive spirit obviously contribute a lot towards growth of their enterprises too it will helps to improve their personal skills and capabilities and it also promote the organizational growth also and fourth point increase in management abilities 
in decentralization in the middle and the lower level employees take decisions as per their powers and they are given independence for the same hence they become efficient leaders they develop skills to work in a coordinated manner they develop able administrative skills and they learn to administer control hence the employee take decision in different circumstances and they increase their abilities in this way future managers emerge decentralization means sharing of authority responsibility and accountability fourth point increase in management ability in decentralization the middle and lower level employees take decisions as per their powers and they are given independence for the same hence they became become efficient leaders they develop skills to work in a coordinated manner they develop able administrative skills and they learn to administer control hence the employee take decisions in different circumstances as they increase their abilities in this way future managers emerge decentralization provides a chance to the employees to provide their abilities by handling various assignments independently such opportunities to take a decision increase their knowledge and experience at all levels it also provides qualified manpower for fulfilling the top positions through promotions effective control if the managers of all the levels have enough power and so they can exercise control on the levels in which the employees commits mistake they can take disciplinary actions which becomes easy for them and hence an effective control is maintained decentralization help in ascertaining the contribution of each department in meeting the objectives of the organization by using various control techniques like balance score card management information system etc thus in case of shortfalls or deviation corrective decision can be taken promptly at the right time and avoid from the deviation and make them more efficient one sixth point harmony is created due to decentralization at all the levels employees are included in decision making process and they are also given importance all the levels of officers and employees is the decision makers and the followers they discuss things and then take proper decision in this process one group comes in contact with the other group in this way an environment of harmony is created under decentralization by including employees working at a different level into decision taking process they are given special importance the officers and employees of each level to say order issuing persons and subordinate are involved among the decision and through the same appropriate decisions are taken during this process each group comes into contact with the other group hence environment of operation develops with the within the business unit and finally harmony is created limitations of decentralization the place where the organization is running on a very small scale and the business secret are to be maintained with the great vigilance in this case decentralization cannot be accepted sometimes due to common policy not implemented or coordination not maintained properly decentralization is not a successful coordination difficulty diverse policies and the procedures followed by different units make coordination difficult different department have different policy and it will reduce the cooperation and coordination among the institution wastage of different time and other resource also large interest of the enterprise neglected emergency or quick decision is not possible because of different department and different authorized person going to take a decision that is why it is time consuming lack of qualified managers lack of qualified skill and decision making power there is 
problem arise and will it will affect the organizational goal certain activities decentralization not possible that means secret maintaining department or organization not possible to adopt decentralization these are the main limitations of decentralization in this part we studied about meaning of decentralization concept of decentralization definition of decentralization and importance of decentralization then lastly limitations of decentralization